Hi! Drones are finding use cases in every single industry possible, whether it's looking for missing people in search and rescue applications, mapping farms, or inspecting buildings. Drones can now do things that we thought unimaginable 10 years ago. So, in this video, we're going to look at a very particular application for drones, and that's stockpile measurements in construction. Let's have a look. Hey everyone, my name is Varun and I'm the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions and in this video I'm going to try and break down a very specific and a very important application for drones, stockpile measurements. Before I do that, let's start by understanding what stockpiles are and what do they mean for construction. So a stockpile in construction essentially is a pile of aggregates or a pile of different materials put together that are useful for the construction to understand whether the material needs to be brought to the site or the material needs to be taken away from the site. So just to explain this a bit better, try and imagine you've got a particular building to construct and you want to move earth or ground around to make it even. Maybe you need to take the ground away from a certain location and maybe you need to fill up ground in another location. And this particular exercise of moving ground, whether it's filling up excess, uh, filling up missing ground or taking away excess ground is where stockpile measurements come in. So sometimes you have site managers in construction that need to move away ground where there's too much ground on the site and other times they need to move ground in um, to be able to fill up a trench or a hole. And stockpile measurements are important because in, an, in a construction environment what you're really trying to do is you're trying to minimize the amount of ground or the amount of mass that you move around. And why is that? Well, at the end of the day, it's all about cost. You want to try and minimize the amount of cost, whether it's the labor cost to move that ground, the logistics of moving that, or even the materials that you need to have. So essentially, reducing the amount of mass or the reducing the amount of ground being moved around is really important. And therefore, it's really important to keep in, on top of what is the current volume of the different stockpiles, the different amount of ground and materials on site and that's where stockpile measurements come in. So let's have a look at how these, these measurements were traditionally done. Traditionally, a lot of these measurements were done using survey grade equipment uh, or even essentially using laser scanners. Uh, you can imagine that if you're trying to estimate the volume of something, uh, you are essentially going to try and um, take that particular thing and put it in a measuring device. However, a lot of those techniques don't really scale when you talk about many different stockpile volumes and when you talk about really large sites. So this is exactly where drones come in. Drones are a new and a modern way to capture all of this data very quickly and essentially in a flight that only takes 20 to 40 minutes, you can capture the entire site and collect millions of data points in one go. Um, essentially, the way it works in terms of how you capture the data and how you actually use the drones to to do the measurements is that you fly your drone on the site uh, in a very specific structured pattern or a flight path and the drone takes images along the flight path. These images typically overlap with each other which means that you see a part of the image uh, in you see subsequent images with overlapping regions and what this allows you to do is that you can take those images and convert them into a 3D model using specific software, for example, a software like Hammer Missions, where you can essentially take all of this data and create a nice 3D model out of that data. All of these images come together and create a 3D model. And then from the 3D model, as you'd expect, we're able to take measurements, volume measurements, and understand um, how much of a particular material or aggregates or, or how much of a quantity do you have on site of a certain stockpile. Now the other two things that come into play when you're doing stockpile measurements are cuts and fill. And cuts and fill are essentially the two names given to the amount of volume of ground above the surface and the amount of volume of material or, or ground below the surface. So cut is the name given to the amount of volume above the surface or above the level and then fill is the amount of uh, volume um, below the surface and cut and fill is really important because uh, you need to be able to understand 
how much can you extract, how much can you cut, and how much can you fill uh, to be able to get that even ground and get the least amount of mass uh, utilized uh, on, on site. So essentially, um, in this particular video, what I've gone through is the, the sort of um, ex an explanation for what type of stockpile measurements are, how do they work, um, what is their actual importance to a construction site, and drones are essentially a new way to do the same thing, but doing much faster, doing it much more uh, cost effective, and doing it in a much more safer way, so that you can have that data instantly available to all the different stakeholders on site. So hopefully this video gives you an insight on how you can use drones on a construction site and how you can use stockpile measurements to add value to that construction. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was useful, give us a like. If you think that your team might benefit from watching it, please do share it with them. Uh, we'll see you in the next video of Knowledge Hub.